didn't go as planned. It uh, started off going good. Then we tried a couple things. We're just constantly trying to fix on this chip. We're trying to get it up and going just better and better and better. Um, but just it fought us today. We tried to work on this. The problem is, is this uh, conveyor is going too fast. So we're trying to slow it down, which is what we got going on here. But we went to make the hose, got that plugged in, got that welded up there. Um, we're going to have to drain some line back and some fluid back into the tank to slow this conveyor down so it's not going so fast. It's just going too fast and it's just gonna wear it out way, way, way too quick. So, our idea was to put that together and then we gotta run a return line to the tank, get all that done and everything was going great and then all of a sudden it just went bad uh, to where we couldn't do anything. And the problem is, is our crimper broke. Uh, yeah, so the tool truck's kind of a mess because we've been doing a lot of work today. So we get up in here. I don't have none of the hoses here because they got taken back to the shop. I, uh, this, this crimper has a bracket that goes from here over and then down to here. The bracket had broke right here, so it needed to be re-welded, but uh, it was still working, but this is supposed to be kicked back uh, a little bit, so it just held on by those that little bit now. This is pretty heavy. So what we did, I got up in here, we had all our hoses cut, our fittings ready to go, and uh, this right here, that's supposed to be connected to that like that. And it broke. And when I pressed down, I had oil fly right up. And you can't see that blurry, yeah. It blew up all the way to the ceiling. It was a mess. <laughs> it completely blew up. Uh, you can see there's still some over here on this. It just, so we ran into the problem of our hose crimper needs a hose made and we can't make it because our hose crimper blew a hose. So it was an absolute failure <laughs> and there's no place around us real close that we can get anything done. Um, usually we just run into town or something, but the only town near us doesn't have the crimper so we can't really do anything and so um, that's why Brian took all the fittings and everything out of here to the shop to get that remade and then we'll be ready hopefully tomorrow we can put this back together and have the bracket welded on there and go from there and hopefully have all of our hoses and fittings for the chipper to get put back on there so we can get that all put together but we can't do anything until our crimpers made so that was kind of the just the bummer deal for today it just did not go good and there's that and there that didn't go so swell either and that's not going so swell but this works really good that um that is the best thing we've had to cut hoses since i've worked here that cuts them right now we had a different cutter in the old tool truck but that one there works great i guess everybody always wants a tool truck video and i don't i haven't ever made one so this is our toolbox here um if you've ever seen a toolbox before it's it's just full of tools. Um, this right here, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at what that chipper guy got. Oh yes, sir. Boy, it's still shiny. Brand new. Oh, and here's, here's the part for the skitter. It's redesigned a little bit. Caterpillar worked on it, and so it's got a new bracket. It's gotta get put on there. Um, 
just all kinds of stuff. But this is their little toolbox. Um, that's the impact that's broke. And then we got some bolts down there. Some fittings up there. Uh, some hard hats. Spill kit. Medical kit. Spill kit. John's electrical action. Uh, hydraulic fluid motor oil diesel fuel chain for the new chipper chain for the old chipper eight links for the old chipper 13s nines <laughs> grease gun uh, big fan of the Milwaukee grease gun love that death fluid death fluid death fluid antifreeze 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 all empty uh, no they're not no they're not take that back Yes, they are. Um, they're all empty. Pipe fittings. That's the other problem. One of my irritations in life is three different fittings um, that we have. Uh, let me see here. Pipe fittings. If any, if you're a work anywhere out in the woods or with any equipment, you got pipe fittings. And then you got JIC fittings, and then you got your O-ring, flat-faced O-ring fittings, which is a total different, a total different fitting. Um, it looks like this. So you have all these different fittings, and here's the tricky part. This old chipper is a bunch of pipe. It, it used to be a bunch of pipe. A bunch of JIC, whatever they could find to get it to work that day is what was thrown on it. Well, a lot of the hydraulics have been redone, and when they redid it, they just switched it all to pipe because that's pretty much what's on there. The new chipper is all JIC, which is my preference. It is all JIC everywhere. There's a couple uh, O ring fittings on there coming off the pumps but it's like 98 percent jic okay now the skidders and bunchers are all yeah so you have three sets of fittings <laughs> so we have to have all the fittings all the time you're always Trying to keep ahead on fittings is always fun because it seems like you break something or blow something you don't have. So we have the majority of the important ones that we use. Um, your most notable ones are for the grapple on the chipper or what you normally go through. And that's just a half inch JIC. And or a 5 eighths is used a lot. Um, so, yeah, there's three different... Uh, fitting types so you try to organize stuff by sizes but then you don't need a lot of sizes on certain fittings but you need a bunch on another we don't use a lot of these but we use a bunch of these and a bunch of these use a bunch of on the a buncher and whatnot so it's like <sighs> use a bunch of these on the grapple, the chipper. It's just like you're constantly trying to stay ahead on all that stuff because there's just, you never know what you're going to need at any given time. It's just, yeah, it seems to always blow. We try to have everything in here. So now they're running both chippers. You have your long nut, your 23s, and then your 15s for the new chipper. So you got two different knives. Uh, there's some clamps there knife holders there and counter knives right there and yeah it's just some air filters here a little stuff for winter we needed uh, I can probably get rid of that I just wanted the, some rubber chunks off from that for the new chipper and there's those are full of used motor oil they we got today and there's your bunch of junk flail rods hose Weld in action, pole saw. I mean, that's about it. Some wrenches, we're missing a bunch of wrenches. I think there's a bunch in that new tool truck, or a new chipper, I'm sorry. 
Um, but yeah, oh, and then you got your torches are over here. And uh, air action for a truck if you need air and we're in a real bad pickle. Uh, I got a glad hand there so we can get air. But yeah, then you got a little more, a little more stuff. It's just, and there's the air coming out from the truck from our screw compressor. Um, comment below if you want a video on the screw compressor. We can do its own separate video. That's kind of a whole different world, but uh, yeah, we got air going all over in here, dropped everywhere. And then we have air on each chipper. That that one, uh, not so much. The new one, uh, the air works. We just got all that fixed. But this old one, that compressor or that air compressor has been through a lot. So it's a lot nicer to use this one. But she's got air in her, and this is kind of the tool truck. It's a little bit messy, but we did... The thing why it, it, it is messy is we did a lot of work today in it. So it's not like uh, this every day. But it's just that stuff all got used. And a bunch of stuff's empty. A bunch of stuff's full that wasn't empty. And that's kind of what you're dealing with. That's kind of what's going on. And you are always got chain laying everywhere. And you always got knives laying everywhere. So... That's what's going on today. It broke and put us in a pickle. Which we weren't going to chip anything over here. So it didn't stop us from chipping. We are chipping on the other job today. Unless a truck gets sent over here. And uh, so it's hooked up so you can still run the chipper. It just doesn't have that valve working in there. Just slow stuff down a little bit. That's today. And we have no cell phone service here, so it's really hard to get a hold of me and it's or anybody that's working here. But <laughs> excuse me. But anyways, that's today. We're broke down. Thanks for watching. Loving making the videos. Thank you all for watching. Did I just say that? Yeah, I did. Anywho, I'm gonna get going. Just keep rolling. Even when stuff breaks and the stuff that you break, you need to make something with it to fix the broken thing, to fix the broken, to fix the chipper. Because it's broken. <laughs>